East Carolina University and U.S. Cellular present The Coach Mo Show with ECU head coach Scotty Montgomery. And now the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to the show, Coach Mo. We'll be here in just a couple of minutes, and we'll look at the highlights from the Virginia Tech game. Our Brian Bailey will have his Pirate profile this week. It'll be Deshaun Amos, number 39, doing a great job at that corner spot for the Pirates. Coach Connors will also be here, another Camp Connors installment with another young Pirate football player in the program. And then the Pirates are back home against UCF. It's the AAC opener. 12 noon will be kickoff time. Our Brian Medor will have the scouting report on the Knights. Hang in there with us. Coach Mo joins me right after this. The Coach Mo Show is brought to you by U.S. Cellular. With the U.S. Cellular Network, you'll get a stronger signal that works in the middle of anywhere. Why have the latest smartphone if you can't use it wherever you go? Switch to U.S. Cellular for our best plan yet. Seven gigs of data per line for only $49. To share more photos at your cabin or video chat at your secret fishing spot. All for just $49. The best part? We put towers in places the other guys don't. Because U.S. Cellular thinks you deserve a signal that works wherever you are. Switch to U.S. Cellular and get a whopping 7 gigs of data per line for only $49. Bisque. That actually does sound nice. really good. I want everything on here. <laughs> Serious. Okay. Mm. This is the third one. Hmm. Weird. <laughs> Keep tabs on your home. Even control it with the all-new Suddenly Connected Home. The easy way for peace of mind. We should probably get home. Yeah. Bud Light Party is going to address the issues that matter. We are going to bring America together. Hard. It's a party for everyone. Men. Yeah. Women. Woo! People of all genders. But, you know, gender identity, it's really a spectrum, and we don't need these labels. Beer should have labels, not people. Kablam! Yeah. We don't care. We'll sell you beer. We'll sell you a beer any day of the week. Yeah. We are American. We have the grit to dig deep. And the courage to stand together. For us, it's all or nothing. You see, that's power. We are power. The Coach Mo Show continues with sponsorship by Biden Health, the official health system of the ECU Pirates. Disappointment is the pathway to creativity. But in order to create, you got to do. So this game, I don't want anybody on the sideline talking about what they tried to do. I don't want triers today. I want doers. I want to be able to get it done. Coach Mo joins us now, and Coach, this game didn't start. I know the way that you wanted it to start, did it? No question. You know, we knew we had to come out and play, you know, really good football early. Uh, but we knew that they were going to be playing with some emotion and some energy being back here after such a big victory. Uh, and, and their crowd got into it. That was exactly what we didn't want to happen. Strowman had the punch, uh, the punt return for the touchdown, and then uh, Williams had a very a determined run for the touchdown. It was 14 to nothing quick. Yeah, unfortunately, our special teams hadn't answered the bell at this point in time. We got to make sure that we... We do that. A lot of that is flowing into our game. So we're going to have to do a good job of making sure that the first play of the game, we know that that's going to be a special teams play, whether it be the third play of the game, the fifth play of the game, 
it's giving, it's giving teams momentum against us now. So that's something that we definitely have worked on, but we've got to do an even better job. Coach, I thought then things started to settle down a little bit late in the first quarter, and uh, Isaiah Jones was making some catches. At the end of the first quarter, you're at the 37-yard line of the Hokies, and things started to settle down just a bit. Yeah, maybe just a little bit, but in there, in the midst of all that, there was a physical battle that we weren't winning. Uh, we were winning some jump balls and throwing it up on the outside, but on the interior, they were physically dominating us in some, in, in some different situations, offense and defense. And then the perimeter, uh, we were making some plays, but they were making huge plays. And just because they were making the huge plays, it, it got us off. Uh, and, and the next thing you know, you're looking into a big lead. Yeah, 14 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. We moved to the second quarter now. And coach, let's talk a little bit about uh, the second quarter here. How about the secondary play? Uh, you know, we, we got to continue to grow and grow and grow and grow uh, because if we don't, uh, we're going to go against some skill guys that are really, really talented. Um, the, the biggest deal about that play tonight is you take a safety out of the, the middle of the field and you put them down in the box because they run the ball well uh, and, and you can stop the run sometimes, but it's going to leave you guys on the edge in some man-to-man -man matchups. And, and unfortunately, we didn't win those man-to-man -man matchups today. You knew this going in. Number one, Isaiah Ford, he's quite a talent, isn't he? Spectacular size, speed, can catch the football, uh, has position flexibility. At times in the game, you know, we knew exactly where he was. We knew exactly what was coming, and he still was able to elude our defenders and go make plays. Coach, you talk about the physical battle, and this is the third straight game of really playing a physical team. Is Virginia Tech, though, the most physical of these three? Uh, Virginia Tech was the best team we played by far, the most physical, um, smartest, you know, best team that we played. And it was just a physical battle at every position on the perimeter, on the interior. Uh, our guys have been in, in three straight battles like this, but this one was definitely by far uh, the most physical that we've seen. Pirates trail 39, 38 to nothing at halftime. When we come back, we'll look at the second half highlights right after this. We'll be right back with more on the Coach Mo Show, sponsored by Suddenlink. One gig speed from Suddenlink is here. Stream, share, and game like never before. Now with unlimited data plans available. Suddenlink, more power to you. Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No. Birthday tomorrow. Hotel, hotel. Guitar. Reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party. Relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. North Carolina's leader in distance education, a degree from an established university, an opportunity for a brighter future, a real option for adult learners. East Carolina University. Every day, we have choices to make, opportunities to take. Some small, some not so small. For the decisions that matter most, bb and is here and has been here for more than 140 years. Sharing the knowledge and the support you need to take on your financial world with confidence. That's the bb &T difference. That's the power of knowledge. Talk to us today. creates leaders. Ideas are ignited. Focus gets sharper. And service connects generations. We commit our expertise to heal, to discover, and to drive our region forward to a brighter tomorrow. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. 
Welcome back to the show as we get ready for the second half. Coach, I would guess you challenged some guys at halftime. We definitely challenged them at halftime. We had a, you know, uh, uh, all up kind of a meeting, and, and I challenged certain people uh, individually. And I ch uh, challenged all sides of the ball, including special teams. And, you know, they came out. And we were playing with some emotion there in the beginning, but you know you got to play good football. And in, in the midst of that emotion, we scored and, and got some you know got some things going. But the physical battle uh, and some of the schematical battles, we were still losing. Jimmy Williams, two touchdown catches in that third quarter, coach. Uh, the first one to start the second half, the 75-yarder, and that was fun to watch. It was a big time throw, big time catch. We knew that just like you know what we were doing to them. Uh, they were getting people down now in the box, and we were going to have some one-on-one -on -one matchups. I thought we had some great one-on-one -on -one matchups in the beginning. We just couldn't get him protected long enough to get some of those matchups that we wanted, and that was the biggest issue. Uh, you know, some of those big-time one-on-one moments that they had, they had all the protection in the world, and the one-on-one -on -one moments that we had, we did not have the protection. And then Jimmy came back, another 70-yard touchdown reception. Yeah, did a great job. What about that throw? That was a big-time hole shot. Uh, I was really, really proud of that, you know, that kind of that play and coming back and knowing that we needed to get score. Our guys kept playing. Uh, unfortunately, they were, uh, uh, we were a little bit outmatched today, and uh, we'll be back soon. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about that, Coach. Uh, not much of a running game today. Yeah, it was very hard to get anything in the run game going. I said earlier, we got to be able to run the football, and we got to be able to stop the run. Well, they were able to run it, and our line of scrimmage didn't move. A lot of times it was on our side. Uh, other ball, so it was really, really tough. I thought they were not only good on the interior, but their end play was much more physical uh, than even it was last year. I think this team has grown in leaps and bounds. It's a good football team. Coach, how about uh, the physical matchup of this game today? And a lot of guys on both sides went off the field. This was a tough game. How did your team come out of this injury wise? You know, it's going to be a lot of limping and, and bruises. We'll lick our wounds here on the way back home, and we'll try to get in and get some treatment, as much treatment as we can. That, that room will be full tomorrow, just by looking at the, you know, at the locker room. Uh, that was a tough game, so we'll, we'll do what we're supposed to do, and, uh, and Jake will get us ready, and we'll be ready to go next Saturday. How about the spirits of the guys after this one? You know, it's always tough. You know, losing games are tough. But I thought each one of them looked at each other, and they knew uh, what went on. Uh, we, we're going to go against great teams. When we go against great teams, sch schematically, we got to be great. Uh, we can't have five penalties. We need to be in the one, two, three penalty range. Uh, and we got to make sure that we take care of the football. And taking care of the football today didn't happen because of what happened on special teams. Very important game next week because it is the AAC opener against UCF. We're, we're excited to get in the AAC. Uh, we're happy to be playing in our first AAC game as, as a staff, as a team. And we look forward to the challenge of UCF. That's Coach Mo. Stay tuned. We'll have more on the Coach Mo Show right after this. Jimmy, let's go back to the 75 yard touchdown reception to start the second half. Can you tell us a little bit about that one? Uh, you know, it was just a play call, you know, just doing what we do. I mean, Phil put it up there for me. I caught it in the score. Do you feel like now you have to be a little bit more of a, a deep threat uh, and kind of a deep threat on this football team and how important that is now to this offense? Uh, yeah, I feel like I do have to be a deep threat, you know, and I wasn't that early, and that's what I feel like. That took away from us being able to stay into this game. So, you know, I have to be better down the field. Ryan will look into the nickel. Oops. To Coleman. And caught on the ricochet. Caught by Hardy. It was a catch on the ricochet for a touchdown by Justin Hardy. Oh, my goodness. Hardy with his second catch of the season comes up. Party is going to address the issues that matter. We are going to bring America together. Hard. It's a party for everyone. Men. Yeah. Women. Woo! People of all genders. But, you know, gender identity, it's really a spectrum, and we don't need these labels. Beer should have labels, not people. Kablam! Yeah. We don't care. We'll sell you beer. We'll sell you a beer any day of the week. Yeah. 
Eye Care Center. Eastern North Carolina's premier optometric specialists have become one of the few in the nation to offer patients the most technologically advanced lenses on the market, enabling the personalization of progressive and single vision lenses with our exclusive digital surfacing process that delivers high-performance lenses with the most precision in their optical lab in Greenville. Call today to make your appointment for the most precise, accurate lenses on the market. Visit us in Washington, Williamson, Plymouth, and three locations in Greenville, 252-756-4204. What looks good? Ooh, lobster bisque. That actually does sound nice. really good. I want everything on here. <laughs> serious. Okay, mm. this is the third one. Hmm, it's weird. Keep tabs on your home, even control it with the all-new Suddenlink Connected Home, the easy way for peace of mind. We should probably get home. Yeah. Why have the latest smartphone if you can't use it wherever you go? Switch to U.S. Cellular for our best plan yet. Seven gigs of data per line for only $49. To share more photos at your cabin or video chat at your secret fishing spot. All for just $49. The best part? We put towers in places the other guys don't. Because U.S. Cellular thinks you deserve a signal that works wherever you are. Switch to U.S. Cellular and get a whopping 7 gigs of data per line for only $49. We are American. We have the grit to dig deep. And the courage to stand together. For us, it's all or nothing. You see, that's power. We are power. Welcome back to the show. You see number 39 all over the field making tackles for the Pirates. He is Deshaun Amos and our Brian Bailey had a chance to get to know East Carolina's outstanding corner. It's time now for today's Pirate Profile, brought to you by Quality Collision. Quality Collision, more than a name, a commitment. Our Pirate Profile this week is with Deshaun Amos, the East Carolina defensive back, who is the best dressed Pirate. What's it take to be the best dressed Pirate? Uh, just creativity, uh, be unique, just try to be yourself. Do you have favorite outfits that you like to wear? Um, I like getting dressed up, I do. Uh, I like bow ties, uh, I'm a dressy type of guy, I get that from my dad, so. Every time I get a chance to dress up, I'll, I'll do it. Now I barely have one closet at home. You've got two. Yes, sir. Take us through your closets here. Uh, so, little closet space, but they gave me two. So, uh, here are all my bottoms, my pants, of course. Uh, I have shoes in both closets, uh, wherever I can fit them. And over here, I have all my tops. This is basically all my collar shirts, though. So, my polos, my uh, short sleeve button ups, long sleeve uh, button ups, sweaters, things like that. So. Uh, just fitting it in where I can get it in. So when you go on a date, you go on a date with, you know, all kinds of things that yeah. you wear, right? Oh, man. Uh, I guess it depends on what she likes, huh? This is, right. That's my Easter thing right there. Uh, um, now, when you wear when you wear something like this, do you include a tie, bow tie? What do you think? Um, Actually, the last time I wore it on Easter, I uh, wore sort of a lavender type of tie yeah. with it. Um, wore a gray uh, sports coat with it and some, some navy blue pants. Uh, brown shoes, brown, brown belt to, to go together, so uh, that kind of hooked me up for Easter. I'm not much of a dresser, but what, you think you could do this with me? Uh, I think I could hook you up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. All right, Deshaun, let's go into the red zone now with some more questions for you. Because of the weather, we're inside with our rapid fire segment. We're inside the red zone. Quick questions, quick answers. You ready to go? I think I'm ready. All right, favorite color? Uh, blue. Favorite artist? Uh, Wale. Song on your playlist that people would be surprised by. Uh, I have a little Rihanna on there. Uh, <laughs> same old mistakes. <laughs> there you go. Favorite movie? Uh, All about the baby. Favorite childhood memory? Uh, just playing in the cul de sac with my friends. Favorite holiday? Uh, of course, Christmas. Biggest pet peeve? Oh, man. Being rushed. Being rushed. <laughs> right, how about dressed up or dressed down? Dressed up in the closet, dressed down today, maybe. Uh, dressed down more, but I prefer to be dressed up. All right. In one word, describe yourself. Um, different. That's our fire <laughs> profile. Very different here <laughs> and in the closet. Our fire profile this week is Sean Amos. Five, four, three, two, one.
Today we're with freshman offensive lineman Sean Bailey. Uh, Sean's somewhere between 6'5 and 6'6, 330 pounds. He's another one of our little recruits uh, that were brought in this summer. Actually, he was here for both sessions of summer school and did a good job. Uh, developing a powerful punch is very important for our offensive linemen, so today Sean is going to demonstrate some exercises that we use with a neutral grip to develop a very powerful punch. Okay, we have a special bar right here where you can see that Sean can use a, what we call a neutral grip, uh, which is more specific to what he's going to be doing in punching someone. So basically, uh, this bar is called uh, a Swiss bar, or some people refer to it as a football bar. So what I'm going to do is count down the eccentric part of the movement, and then he's going to punch it up. Right, here we go. We're going out four, three, two, one, punch. Good. Four, three, two, punch. Four, three, two, punch. All right, good job. Next exercise, we're going to use the bamboo bar. And with the bamboo bar with kettlebells on bands, uh, we're purposely trying to create an unstable environment so he's got to stabilize the environment with the synergists and stabilizing muscle groups along with the prime movers. And we're going to use a pronated grip for this exercise. Okay, here we go. Nice and slow on the way down and up. Be under control on the way up. There you go. Full range of movement. And one more rep. Right, good job. Next little tool we'll use, uh, which I like, is the Cobalt Pro Hand Sander. It has a good purpose here because it's going to put him in a nice neutral grip position. We're gonna, just going to use the uh, body weight. So again, four, three, two, punch. Sit. Four, three, two, punch. Four, three, two, punch. Good. Sean's in our developmental group right now. What we're working with him is uh, basically we're going to try to put on about eight to 10 pounds of lean mass, lose a little bit of body fat, work on his foot quickness. He's gonna be ready to roll. Camp Connors is brought to you by these local nationwide agents. In the nation, if you celebrate it, Nationwide protects it. We put members first. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. To join the nation, call your local Nationwide insurance agent, Jeff Howard in LaGrange or Jim Walker in Kinston. North Carolina's leader in distance education, a degree from an established university, an opportunity for a brighter future, a real option for adult learners. East Carolina University. America deserves two dinner buffets for 22 bucks. You're right, but more. Weekends should be spectacular too. That's what I'm talking about, yes! Decision 2016 is a win-win at Golden Corral. Monday through Thursday, get two classic dinner buffets for just 22 bucks. Then make the weekend spectacular with endless prime rib, jumbo butterfly shrimp, and introducing new premium favorites. You, you've got my vote. This guy is the man. He's Jeff Foxworthy yes. and I approve his message. Did you hear me? Yes! Every day, we have choices to make opportunities to take. Some small, some not so small. For the decisions that matter most, bb and is here and has been here for more than 140 years. Sharing the knowledge and the support you need to take on your financial world with confidence. That's the bb and difference. That's the power of knowledge. Talk to us today. We are American the conference of opportunity. The opportunity to chase dreams. The opportunity to make your mark and change the game. Because that's power. We are power.
Good morning. Getting ready to jump out of a plane for the first time here with the Golden Knights. So, um, not real nervous yet, but I'm sure when I'm getting ready to jump out of the plane, I'll be very nervous. Now, was this your idea or someone else got you into this one? Somebody invited me to do it, and uh, we didn't have practice today in East Carolina for a baseball program. So okay. I said, hey, Got an opportunity to jump out of plane. I might better try it while I have an opportunity. How do you feel so far? I'm getting a little nervous now. Yeah. Yeah. That was unbelievable. <laughs> Definitely going to do that again. Any favorite parts? Uh, getting out of the plane to start with. Initial exit. All right. Well, thank you so much for jumping with the Golden Knights. Thank you. Appreciate it. Honor to you in the air, sir. Hey, thank you. So much. This week's look ahead is brought to you by the Eye Care Center. Eye doctors focused on you and the official eye care provider of the Pirates. Welcome back to the show. Going to be great to have a home game for the Pirates this coming week as UCF, a much improved football team under new head coach Scott Frost, will invade Greenville, Downey Ficklin Stadium, Bagwell Field. Our Brian Medor has this week's scouting report. For the third straight week, the Pirates will face an opponent with a new head coach on the sideline. This time it's Scott Frost. And contrary to his name, Frost is heating things up in Orlando. The former Oregon offensive coordinator knows how to put points on the board. The question is, can a team that went 0-12 a year ago even come close to resembling Frost's quack attack in Oregon? The answer is probably not for some time, but this is a much better team even with a freshman under center. Milton McKenzie and the Knights almost knocked off unbeaten Maryland despite turning the ball over four times. This is UCF's first trip back to Greenville in two years. Man, man is out there, jump off, and it's caught! It's caught in the end zone! And oh, it's still a gut punch to Pirate fans, the Hail Mary. East Carolina leads the overall series 10-4. It's painted purple on Saturday as the Knights come back to Downey Ficklin Stadium. I'm Brian Medor for the Coach Mo Show. Thanks, Brian, and thanks for being with us this week. Have a great week, Eastern Carolina. The Coach Mo Show has been presented by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of the ECU Pirates. The Coach Mo Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.